is there truly a scenario under which a person who's eating 3,000 calories of a balanced diet can switch to 3,000 calories of a ketogenic diet and have weight melt off them just because they're on a ketogenic diet? They somehow magically start burning a lot more energy. And again, I believe the answer to that question is no. Agreed, with one stipulation. A lot of keto fans get very precious about their diet, and they like to think that it somehow magically bypasses the laws of thermodynamics. Low carb and keto diets could be special for fat loss, if they significantly alter the number of calories you consume or the number of calories you burn. And several research studies have argued whether cutting your carbohydrates could increase your metabolic rate. This one said yes, and so did this one. But this rebuttal to that paper paper said no. This said yes, but it didn't actually impact fat loss. This meta-analysis said definitely yes, but this letter to the editor refuted it. And this review paper said nah, probably not. Ultimately, most of you don't want to mentally masturbate over energy expenditure statistical analysis. You just want to know whether low-carb and keto diets are better for fat loss. In very tightly controlled short-term trials, changing your ratio of carbohydrate to fat intake doesn't seem to do much. And in the long term, low-carb and keto diets seem to suffer with the same diminishing adherence levels as other weight management diets. My stipulation is that cutting your carbohydrate intake does often result in significantly greater weight loss, especially in the early days where people tend to lose water and glycogen. But ketogenic diets are renowned for encouraging people to consume more protein, which can help alter body composition independently of calorie intake. But ultimately, there are a plethora of different weight loss diets. And unless one of them definitely stands head and shoulders above the rest for everyone, it is dangerous when someone tells all of you that you all need to follow one specific diet, because that removes your freedom of choice.